Welcome to the Mitchum History Notes YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to have a quick look at some of the photographs by Bill Rudd that are on the Merton Historical Society website. It says, The late William J. Rudd spent 50 years exploring the history of Morden and captured on film the changing face of the area over those decades. The Merton Historical Society is delighted to be able to hold this important collection, though it is still facing up to the challenge of sorting, scanning and cataloguing it. Offers of help welcome. So, it's quite a few photographs. I'm going to have a quick look at part of the St. Helier estate. There's lots of photographs here. He, Bill took o over 500 slides for the St. Helier estate. This could take a while to work my way through. So let's start with something simple. Let's have a look at St. Helier Avenue. I presume this means this was March 1974. I presume that's on the negative, not some kind of weird art in installation. Someone will have to tell me where in St. Helier Avenue this is. Mercury Street Lamps, August 1973. Mercury Street Lamps. Let's have a look at this one. Diseased Elm Trees, St. Elia Avenue, July 1973. Oh, so this is, that's Morden Hall Park, isn't it? Mm. Well, I suppose he's also taken a photograph at the two different styles of lamppost here. Request bus stop, Mercury lamps being replaced, April 73. This bus stop looks in a bit of a state. I don't know much about lampposts. Are these the new ones or the ones being replaced? Or are they the new ones or the ones being replaced? Answers on a postcard please to MitchumHistoryNotes.com And again, I have no idea which part of St. Helia's Avenue this is. Ah, row of shops. There's uh, something we can look at. St. Helia Avenue, 6973 shops. C 8917. April 72. What do we have here? A building on the edge of it says White Lodge, White Lodge Shop, a barber shop, G Snow, PAS, a progressive aerial service, and the St. Helio Glass Company. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Nice little row of three shops and a corner shop. And the corner shop has got the same name as the building. And we see this on Street View. Yes, this is July 2024, so it's July this year. It still says White Lodge as the name of the shop, which is good, number 69. The barber shop and aerial shop has become one shop for Foster's mobile windscreens and body glass repairs. 
in the end one looks like it's been converted into accommodation. And the name White Lodge has been rendered over. Pebble Dash by the looks of it. We got any more dates? What's the oldest one on Street View? September 2008. Same thing. So, don't know when that happened. So, sometimes between 1972 and 2008, for some reason, someone thought, I want to just paint over this. Why not Pebble Dash it? Pebble Dash it was all the rage at one point, as I recall. Sorry about losing the actual White Lodge bit there, though. Right then, that'll do. Very short video. I will explore some more of this. But I must admit, it's out of my bailiwick. I'm not really sure about what I'm looking at. Thanks for watching. Press like if you can, if you wish. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Bye for now. <laughs>